All right, everybody, horse play back here. I was doing a little test today. Got the car jacked up by the lower control arm. Because the debate was whether the strut tower brace does any good or not. And what I did, this ain't even bolted in, I just got it set there. But I set it on where all the screw holes line up. There, there, and there. But I found when I jacked it up, over here, that bolt, bolt hole almost doesn't line up and it doesn't it doesn't sit flush here but you can see where it used to sit i can't even get it back against that see how far away that is right here and where it doesn't sit so obviously just for me jacking it up that has moved enough that i can't seek this right it's also if you look back here it's not super tight here, and it's wedged really tight here. So obviously, this does move some. This strut tower brace being bolted down would help this a lot more than I think people give it credit for. Now, mind you, that little bit of deflection is not much, but when you're in a road course situation, that's that little bit's a lot. Like I said, I got it lined up on this side, and this side's jacked up, and it's wedged there, not touching there, and will not line up over there. Again, the holes are somewhat lined up on the front. They're not centered how they used to be. And it is not touching the back back here. And there is a space right here where it will not touch the firewall or the uh, strut tower. Now, again, this is only jacked up and I don't have it jacked up. I mean, it's jacked up pretty decently, but I don't have the, the arm really. If I could get the jack closer to the end of the arm, it probably would have created more stress but when you're going around a curve i mean this tire almost touches this fender i think that's a lot more force than just being jacked up like this i could be wrong but i've seen in road race tests where that's a lot of force when they're going around the corner not that i'm road racing this thing i just wanted to see how how a strut tower brace would do and like i said with everything lined up perfectly over here and that one the other side's not lined up at all um would it still go on there? i could probably force it on there if i if I put these bolts in and cinched it down where it pulled everything in, I could probably do that. But with the car down, everything lines up. Now let me, let me go ahead and lower this jack. Pull it out of the way. All right, now we got it lined up here. It's touching. Come around. It's lined up over here and and now this this hole lines up and these holes are lined up so i don't know let me know what you think does it work does it not work um i'm gonna say that it does still it gives some some stability i mean it's not tremendously it's not like everybody's saying we're their cars flopping all around like a fish but at the same time it it adds a little bit of stability um is it going to be enough to notice for daily driving i haven't noticed it missing i'll be honest but for somebody that might uh, track their car it might be that little added stability they need it might be a little bit of extra advantage i don't know i've never really road braced the car um on a track playing around the streets totally different but like i said for daily driving mine's been off because i did my intake and stuff and i never put it back on i never noticed the difference with it missing but that's proof that obviously they they flex some kind of felt like i was leaving that incomplete a little so what i did is i went and i went ahead and bolted this side on just put two bolts on it that's all i need made sure all the holes lined up where i could get it in could hand screw them in jack the car back up underneath the control arm here's this side that is all the way i can't get it any closer the bolt holes you can see but they're not lined up and i cannot get this started by hand any way possible it just it won't the holes like this so it won't start and either one Maybe the, 
almost get that one started. Like I said, this is, they're not centered back here at all where they was. So I think this proves without a doubt, even bolting this side down, that this thing flexes that much. It flexes, while it's only millimeters, I think it's enough to uh, the road course guys or the guys that are every second counts around the track. I really think it's gonna be uh, beneficial to them. Um, like I said, on the street, I really don't notice it. I'm putting mine back on just because it's sitting around back. I don't want it to get messed up. No need for me to have it off. Same reason there's no need really for me to have it on, but at the same time, I got it, why not use it? But uh, like I said, I thought I was leaving it complete. I figured I'd go one step further. So let me know what y'all think. Thank you.